God damn it, what the fuck is going on here? Why do I keep blinking in and out of red, out of dropping frames? What the shit? What the shit is going on? I'm not downloading anything. Son of a bitch. All right. Maybe I'm just too awesome. Whoa! What the fuck? Oh my god. What is happening, Citro? What the shit? Holy moly. What is going on here? <laughs> oh man. That's good. This is going to be going on for a minute, huh? That is truly <clears throat> truly a sub explosion. Holy moly. How many was that? Oh my god, how many fucking was that? That was a hundred? A hundred gift subs? Are you kidding? I can't even scroll up that far. I can't even count that high. Hold on, I gotta... <laughs> Yeah, uh, <laughs> Streamlabs doesn't even know what to do with that shit. Everybody, give, give the sub back. Give those subs back. Give them back. <laughs> give them back to him. Oh, yeah. No. Oh, and Streamlabs, like, hold on a goddamn minute. I lost them all now. Oh, hold on, where the fuck did they go? Yeah. Yeah, it's not showing, it's only showing like 10. Or like, yeah, it's only showing like the last 10 on my Streamlabs now, which sucks. Do the dance, Montana boy. Oh, I will. I will, baby. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Because this, this is definitely one of those, uh, hold on. Let's see. Is it, maybe this is it? Is this it? Maybe, 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 maybe. Let's try that. Let's try that. Let's try that. Let's try that. Is that gonna be? 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 All right. Are you ready? Cause it's time, ladies and gentlemen. It's time. We're gonna do this. Nope. Not that. Not that. Where is it? Oh, God damn it. And it's, I'm dropping frames. Why am I dropping so many frames right now? What in the fuck is going on to my frames here? Son of a bitch. It's time, ladies and gentlemen. Time for a sub. Yeah! All right. 
When the beat drops, I want everybody in the chat, all of my subs, all of my non-subs, everybody who's in chat, when the beat drops, you drop hearts, whatever hearts you have, whether it's the Zeke Club, whether it's less than three, whether it's whatever, just drop the hearts when the beat drops. Are you ready? 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 Drop it! Drop it! Oh! I don't know why. I do not know why. No idea. But anyways, thank you all. Thank you, Citro. Thank you, Tibios. We like to get a little weird. A little goofy from time to time. So thank you for bearing with me. And thank you for being a part of this. Um, God damn it. And I'm really sorry about the... Really sorry about the frames. Um, I, don't know what, I don't know what's going on. I'm not downloading anything. It's just kind of popping in and out of dropping frames. I got no explanation for it other than like my ISP might be fucking up. And I lost all the new subs that I had. Like my alert, my alert box is not has did not keep up with with all the shit that just happened. <clears throat> yeah, and now it's got even less. It has all the it has like five gift subs from Citro. It didn't keep any of the ones from Tivios. <clears throat> No, it's not Twitch. It's not Twitch fucking up. If it was Twitch fucking up, it wouldn't show on my it wouldn't show on my OBS. It wouldn't like it's it's something to do with my connection. Like the the if you know anything about OBS, there's a little green box 
that shows like if you are if it's green then you're streaming no drop frames if it's yellow or red that means you're starting the connection starting to drop frames I'm a new sub I'm so jacked it's my lucky day hell yeah check the subscriber log on discord it has some but not all Oh yeah, it's it's missing so many, and I, we would be here forever if I if I hailed each and every one of those, each and every one of those hundred subs. I would be here for a long time, and we don't. I mean, just just me hailing all those subs would take up take up quite a bit of the day. So, <sighs> yeah, I only had fifteen of the hundred, so. Uh, oh, did I hit a new emote slot? Not quite. <laughs> it's close, but not quite. <clears throat> Would you fuck me? I'd fuck me. I don't think the API can cope. Yeah. Yes, Tivios, Citro. Yes, I know. I saw that. Tivios, Tivios dropped a 10 sub bomb earlier. So, I'm just going to hail you two. All right. Hopefully this works. Yes. Okay. And I want you to know, like, I haven't done this in a while, but I still have the scene here, so... I want you guys to know, Tivios and Citro, you guys are amazing. Thank you for gifting out all those subs. And for anybody who got a gift sub, enjoy those emotes, especially Zeke Hulk and Zeke Kodog, two of my favorite new emotes. I want to say to everybody who is a new sub, hail! Tivios and Hail Citro and everyone who is a new warrior, you are now Berserkers. Thank you so very much. What an awesome start to the day! Um, I'm actually going to, I'm going to, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to mute. The alert for now, so the horn's not going off a hundred times, but the visual alert will still appear up at the top there. Kodog, brother! That's right, more meat for the grinder! That's right. Wait, never mind. I was gonna say something. I was gonna say something. Uh, let's see. Triceratops! Oh, wait. Oh, we had new subs on their own, I think, right? Brand new subs of their own volition, of their own doing. That we can hail. Brand new warriors to join us. Hail Daughter Games. Hail Triceratops 92. And hail Mike Chaos 92. <laughs> Berserker. <laughs> the 92 Club is here. We got Triceratops and Mike Chaos 92. It's hilarious. They're both of their uh, things are 92. Is is Kodog going to be a permanent emote? Well, permanent doesn't really matter anymore because we can just switch out emotes whenever. Like, tell you what, is there an emote? Is there an emote that's not here that you would like me to bring back right now? <clears throat> Zeke, you got me to buy this, please, too, and I'm loving it so far. Thank you. Yes. Uh, Yuxeri. Yuxeri, thank you. I'm glad. I'm glad you like it. I love it. I'm loving it. Um... Want to give a shout out to some re-ups here. We had Setis with 42 months. Um, didn't we have a, a, the Reaper? The Reaper, you had a re-up that I can't see anymore because because Streamlabs couldn't keep up with it. But I saw you re-upped stream, uh, the Reaper. Um, Sneaky Snack had 15. Lent, Lent, Lentinent had 8. And Kali Wallabear had 20. Thank you, guys. 15 months, yes.
You want oh you Zeke anime? You want Zeke anime back? Really? Why do you want Zeke anime? I'm not even playing an anime game. Crazy. You guys are nuts. All right, let me see. Because <clears throat> anime is real! <clears throat> and you want Zeke lewd back too? All right, hold on. But that means I gotta get rid of one. Which one am I getting rid of? Get rid of, get rid of JP Binky. No one uses that? <clears throat> okay. No, I'm, uh, I'm gonna do the getting over it one, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of that one. And we'll bring back Zeke anime. Oh, we gotta bring back, oh, and we'll get rid of Binky. Because we're bringing back two. Okay, there we go. Because we're bringing back uh, anime and, anime and lewd. Oops. There we go. All right, Zeke anime is back. It'll be back. It's like give it ten minutes, and then. Oh, whoops. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Goodbye getting over it, Emote. Your game will not be forgotten. No, it won't. Okay, so Zeke Enemy and Zeke Loot are back in the rotation. And we are what? Seventy-eight. Seventy-eight away from the new from the next tier. Uh, we had a new sub. Hail Arc Arcto Berserker. <laughs> What's up, Arcto? And also Ms. Chaotica with 48 months, four years, baby. I heard I get a cake. Give me cake. Give me cake, Scott. Scott, would you give fucking Ms. Chaotica some cake, please? Jesus. And the Mrs. Scott Evans, Bree, with 44 months in a row. Thank you, Bree. All right, let's get to a game, but. Man, I'm really, I'm really upset that this, that I'm, I just periodically like drop frames. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's happening. Oh, the, the, the gifting sub alert is still going. Indeed it is. And it will go for a while. I'm sure. Whoops. Yep. <laughs> It'll probably be going for a minute. <clears throat> for a minute. Probably not even halfway yet. I, I, I have no idea. And there it is. It's, I'm dropping frames again. What in the balls? Okay, hold on. No, my downloads are paused. Yeah. Got, yep, this release is updated. Okay. Power just had a little, little hiccup there. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah, I, I don't know, man. It's it's my it's my ISP. If if I mean, there's nothing I can do. Yeah, there it goes again. Dropping. Dropping. Fuck. 
Yep, something to do with my ISP. Oh, in case you were wondering what I was talking about, oops. I'll show you what what the little box that I'm that I refer to when I'm talking about OBS. Oh, please don't do that. There's a little green box right here that appears right here. And it says it has a green box right here when you're when you're going live streaming, and then it has a number uh, of kilobits per second that you're streaming at right here. And if this little green box <clears throat> in the corner of OBS ever goes yellow or red, that means you are your connection is bad. You're dropping frames for some reason, whether you're downloading or whatever. But <clears throat> that's that's where I that's where I look like every day to see like and my eyes have been trained to like see red out of this at a corner of this eye. Because if I do that, then I'm like, fuck. So, <clears throat> I'm not sure. Get you a gigabit connection. Hey, Binary, show me where in Montana I can get a gig gigabit connection, and I'll, I'll get that. That's why I'm, that's why I'm moving to, um, <laughs> that's why I'm moving to Denver as soon as I can. Because... I want a good internet connection that is solid and God damn it, it's going right again. Fuck. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, it's I'm so helpless. I, I don't know if there's anything I can do. Am I dropping because of the alerts? No. That wouldn't be, that wouldn't have anything to do with it, I don't think. Let's go to 1UP when you come here, Zeke. Oh, I've been to 1UP. I went to 1UP with uh, Mr. Scott Evans last time. I was there. We have forgotten internet, and we all just hang out and watch puppetry. What kind of puppetry? Puppetry of the penis? Because I'll watch that with you. Okay. Don't move to Germany if you want fast, cheap internet. Oh, really? Is it bad? Okay. December 13th. I don't know how many days we go through. Oh, we're in December 14th. All right. Back on the beat. Victor, tell me honestly, are you a human being or a robot? Huh? Right? Are you sure? Have you checked? Because it seems to me you have a set of programmed commands instead of brains in your head. Ever consider showing a little bit of flexibility? Just a little bit, huh? This is kind of a Ever recap consider here. consider that selling butter and selling gasoline isn't the same thing? I... Well, listen... Listen to me, Victor. Listen to me a second before your tiny electrical brains run out of batteries. When you sell him butter, you sell him a delicious breakfast. A person can live without a delicious breakfast. Yes, most people in this fucking town haven't even heard of a delicious breakfast. What's your favorite breakfast, chat? Hey, chat, what's your favorite breakfast? <laughs> I bet there's a lot of people going to be going to say either nothing or some sort of liquor or alcoholic beverage. <laughs> Um, a full Irish breakfast. Uh, real quick, just want to let you guys know, I might have already said it, but this is a, this, we've already seen this, but it's, it's just a kind of a good recap to, to, uh, re for us to remember where in the story we are. So. When you sell him butter, he's in a position to bargain because if he doesn't have butter, he'll smear his toast with clay and by god i swear he will eat it with no less pleasure but when you sell him Bacon, gasoline sausage, victor yeah. when you sell him gasoline you sell him his business you sell him the entire meaning of his existence because victor if he doesn't have gasoline he'll have to shut down his gas station and if he closes his gas station he won't have butter or toast on the table and in fact he won't even have a fucking table all right sorry to interrupt it again but i had to tell you my favorite breakfast 
when when it's good, I don't think anything in the world for me, like when it's really good, like when it's like, because there's a lot of places it's mediocre and then it just falls in line with every other breakfast. But when I get a good fat plate of biscuits and gravy, it's, I, I'm not sure if that's an American thing, but it's biscuits, white gravy, like white sausage gravy with bacon and eggs. That's my jam. Because his creditors will take away his whole fucking house. And a man needs a fucking house so that he can have a place to put his fucking table. You got the logic, right? Now see if you can digest it with your fucking electrodes or whatever you usually think with and call me back when you come to an agreement on the price. Ah, you're already here. I'm sorry, Jack. It's a busy time of year. I gotta sit by the phone all day. I can call you Jack, right? Why am I asking? I'm already calling you, Jack. <laughs> Let's sit down. Sorry, Stefano. Thank you for three years, I Stefano. Three years. I'm sorry I made you, made you hungry. I love we that the, could the, the go alert. The bar, by the way. The I'm alert for won't call, stop. I could. It's fine here. You sure? Well, as you like. That's what I love about sharp wood. Even if I forget to put the beer in the refrigerator, it'll still be cold. Here, you can help yourself. Hmm, doesn't look like beer, does it? Well, what is it? The infamous smelly soup? You should try it. Go on. Try it, try it. Don't be squeamish. Half of sharp wood eats that soup every day. <laughs> no one's dead yet. <laughs> Not from the soup, anyway. Now I see. Hmm? Now I see why you'd say that anyone who lives on this soup would try to get out of here. Well, yes, but, uh, but most of them stay. What do you think keeps them here? Family? Friends? 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 But what are those? It's easier than making friends. When did you arrive in Sharpwood? About ten weeks ago? Or was it eight? And look, you're already surrounded by friends. No, no, it's not friends. It's the enemies. Ask anyone in the city. Ask a poor man. Ask a rich man. Of course, if you can find a rich man. They all have them. Every one of them has a neighbor they can't stand. Well, how can you leave Sharpwood and allow your enemy to go on without you? <clears throat> so he could plant a cherry tree in your backyard? So he, not you, could buy drugs on discount? So he could grab a nice plot of land in the cemetery? No, no, no one can allow this. The enemy must be exhausted if it takes you your whole life. With the enemy, you need to fight to the last. Once you have an enemy, you're doomed. You can't think straight. Old Sheriff Wells was doomed. He couldn't stand drug dealers. I myself don't care for him, but Wells didn't count them as people at all, despised them more than murderers and rapists, and as soon as those fucking neckties appeared in the city, he knew right away that they were his enemies, enemies which he must overcome, you see, and even if by some miracle he succeeded, what next? What other enemies would he have invented? And the performance we arranged for him that night? He had no reason to believe that there were ties hiding in that house. But one phone call, from this phone here, by the way, and he rushes off into the night to God knows where. You know what happened next. What? He threw himself into a hail of bullets, got two young cops killed too, though they had absolutely nothing to do with it. Sheriff Wells invented his enemies, and he paid for them dearly. So the policeman had to pay for doing police work. What? Jack, come on. I know we need the police. Of course we need them. There was a case here recently. Oh, hey, shit, look. I think I think Saito's alerts are finally are finally done. I think we're on to the new alerts now. I think we're gonna we're, we're a little backed up, but we're we're getting through them. Yep. Daughter games, there we go. We're on to the new ones. Yay! All right, looks like we only got, uh, let's see, about I want about 15 more alerts to get through. Uh, I want to say, while we're paused here, SF Slevin, thank you for eight months and a new sub. Hail t do Berserker. What's up, t do Thank you very much for the new sub, and thank you, Slevin, for the continued support. 
a month before you got here, maybe less, a fellow named Rocco, he was a butcher here, his old mother Bertha went missing, and Bertha had either Alzheimer's or old age dementia, or is it the same thing? I, anyway, poor Bertha always forgot everything, couldn't even recognize Rocco half the time, and then suddenly she disappeared somewhere. So, what did our Rocco decide? Our Rocco decided that his mother was kidnapped by Eves Menke, another local butcher, his competitor, so to speak. No, just think, a man finds his mother missing, his old sick mother who can't remember her way to the toilet, and the first idea that comes into his head, his competitor kidnapped her. I love this story. Watch too many movies, I guess. So what did Rocco do? Rocco picked up the hammer, went to Eves Menke's house, cracked open his skull, then broke his brother's skull then broke his father's skull, then went down to their basement shouting, Mom, I've come to save you. And the basement was empty. Of course it's fucking empty. And there he is, standing there. Goes back home, covered in blood, hammer in hand, and his mother is there, sitting in her armchair, quietly knitting. Walked around in the woods all day, then came back home. Doesn't even remember a thing about it. Now Rocco will be in prison for the rest of his life. But if he just called the police, if the cops had combed the forest looking for poor Bertha, nothing Comb would have the forest! Happened. So of course we need the police. Never what about you guys? You guys found anything? The police is my enemy. I don't invent enemies for myself. I won't repeat the old sheriff's mistakes. Unlike the new sheriff. What, you arranging a special performance for her too? I could, of course, but what happens after that? Marino says that after Gail Greenberg's death, there's no first deputy in the love department. you guys. So if the sheriff suddenly I so dies, much. I love my anyone community might so take much. Place, and I do not <laughs> need anyone. I need you. I'm sorry. You're working in the sheriff's department, unofficially, right? I think it's time to formalize your status. First deputy sheriff. It's a good start, huh? Why would Lily formally appoint me as first deputy? You're not listening to me at all, Jack. Lily invented an enemy for herself and will do anything if it means she can get even with her enemy. Believe me, run the ties out of Sharpwood and you'll get your post. Run she the jewels out of Sharpwood. I'm not sure she... Uh... Just think, Jack, just think. The ties didn't just flood the city with drugs. Oh, no, that would not be enough. The ties killed her precious Sheriff Wells. Well, that's what she believes anyway. But would they stop at that? Oh, no. The ties killed Gail Greenberg. And was that enough? Not at all. Now the ties had also killed her champion, Captain Carter. As far as I know, Jack, you made sure poor Lily thought as much. You can be sure, Jack. Hatred for her enemy has all but blinded our sheriff. Like her predecessor. Like her predecessor's predecessor. Consider this a Sharpwood tradition. Suppose she agrees. Although I do not really believe she will... Then I'll still need to deliver and take out these ties. Is that a problem? I thought you were an experienced cop. I don't even know where their headquarters are. But I do. I learned a lot from our distinguished young student, Arthur Sherman. The scholar couldn't be held in isolation without books. He traded all the valuable secrets of the insidious neckties for the Viscount de Bragelone. Can you imagine? <laughs> even if I can. I'll have us be Victor. Dude. Don't worry, Jack. Phone's Chill. ringing, dude. You'll see. She'll agree with our invitation. <laughs> Call me. When I you know, Donnie. Do thank you. Just don't leave it too long. <clears throat> All right. Uh, I forgot to thank the Beast. Here, little souvenir from Freebird. The Beast, real Beast. How you doing, real Beast? Hello. Thirty-nine what? months. Thank you, brother. You so Appreciate much. it. It doesn't matter how much he's willing to pay. It's physically impossible at that time. Sir, sir, answer your telephone. <laughs> sir, sir, answer your I can't. It won't. It doesn't. <laughs> That's from a uh, David Cross stand-up bit. <laughs> kind of an obscure reference. All right. So there was a recap. We're back on the beat. I'm feeling. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling like. Uh, like we got a good we got a good squad of officers and Aaronovich didn't come to work today. That's okay. He doesn't need to. He's good. Luna Luna frequently doesn't come into work. I don't know. Like maybe it's, is it because she's old? You think? I wanted to rewatch Persona Five, but I forgot it's two hundred forty hours long. 
pretty long. And there's a there's a big chunk in the middle that's missing, Citro, because Twitch lost those VODs, which was so heartbreaking. So fucking heartbreaking. What was even more heartbreaking is we could have had them on YouTube if Scott would have uploaded them in a timely fashion. Like, that's what really breaks my heart. <laughs> I hate you so much. <laughs> no, no, really. Honest and for true, Scott was more heartbroken than I was, I think. Even though he hated Persona, Scott takes a lot of pride in what he does. And when they, when he couldn't like get the job done because of somebody else's fuck up, he was really upset about it. All right, Mr. Nash, I'm back. Oh, Adkins is back from the hospital. That's good. Woolbag, uh-oh. My Amish detective. I've been working for days and didn't have the time or energy to go to shower. Oh, that's right. Can I go home and take a bath in the tub? You know what, Woolbag? You go ahead. You go ahead, Amish. It still bothers me, I know. And then it was just like, it's. it was honestly like that South Park episode. Where's your VODs? And they're gone! Like, what do you mean they're gone? They're gone! Poof! Bye-bye! No, 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 you have to have- there's a backup, right? No! There's no backup! But all those hours that I spent playing and- and I wanted to put them on YouTube and people asked me about them, like, th there's nothing I- Nope! Do you local record? And I'm like... No... You should local record next time. Thank you! I've never had to before! All right, Mr. Nash, today's funeral is, oh, today's funeral for Bassant Percy. Oh, Percy, that's right. Shit, we gotta let Jacob go pay our respects to Percy. Percy died last time. He, he was, he got, he got into a drunk car wreck. What happened? All right. You can go to the, yep, yep. He's a good cop. Go ahead. Go to the funeral. We got more than enough cops on today, right? We got, I mean, Trotsky's on the case today. So we got six, 12. We got 13 until people, two people come back from the funeral. And we got fucking Chapman, super cool guy Chapman and Trotsky here who aren't loyal yet. Oh, we lost the uh, two other disloyal cops in a, in a mission because I didn't know that the disloyal cops, when you take them into a tactical mission, like the XCOM style, they move on their own. Little did I know. Yep, Saddam Saddam became disloyal and he died in the tactical mission. And so did so did like black hat cowboy uh, guy. Oh wait, you don't get you don't need anything. Nope. Pots my super cop. Flower pots my super cop. All right, god damn, I really need more cartridges. <laughs> I, need, I need about five more, you know what, I'm gonna sell a couple of tasers, I think. Oh, we got an open investigation, all right. Oh, Chapman, that's what we use you for. There you go. Wait, Trotsky, are you smart? Oh, Trotsky's super smart. Okay, where are we at on this investigation? We want to... Hmm. It's the chicken coop. Did we want to get more? I thought we had this already. Did we want to get more of the 
I did. No, I re-enabled it. The subhorn is re-enabled. Yep. It's back. It's back on. All the alerts are back on. Back unmuted. So now waiting for Zeke to name all of those subs. I don't, I can't, I lost the, like, the sub log is gone. Like the API could not fucking handle it. I don't have any, I have like 10 of the, of the hundred. They're fucking gone. I, I mean, we can go through the, the chat log. I bet the chat log would have it. If we had it, but. We'd have to go through that shit. Watch the clip and read the chat. Oh yeah, I forgot it. Chat goes along with it. I can do that. Absolutely. Or Faminki could do it. One of you guys could do it. Okay. Um The poor neighbor. Okay. So we want to we want to get more clues on the the envious neighbor. And then this one we want Oh, the liquor store, that's right. We want more on the on the woman, on the female here. Thought we already I thought we already did this. Are maybe are we repeating an entire day? I thought we were just repeating one of the pieces of the story, but I I might have fucked up. I think we are repeating an entire fucking day. God damn it. Beats a sales clerk with a baseball bat. Okay, yep. There you go. Weird Al is on the case. Weird Al is on the case. All right. I like that you called him Spyro, Yuxeri. He called him Spyro. That's fucking hilarious. Uh, Zucate has got four months in a row. Got some money from my theater, my porn theater. There you go. There's a funeral. To the faithful departed. He gets the bagpipes and bullshit. Five in progress. Oh, we got a theft. Oh, that's right. What? Wait, hold on a second. Now, hold on a goddamn minute. Oh, yeah, we were going to put people on this at the end of the day. So we are repeating. We're repeating a fucking day. God damn it. That sucks. Because I remember that part. A guard is forcing prisoners to play Russian roulette. I remember this. Son of a bitch. Damn it. I must have shut it off before I hit a checkpoint. God damn it. Well, I know this one like I shot the guard. And I think I can bring the sniper in on this one. No, it's not. It's Trotsky. It's not Lenin. It's, I mean, Lenin was bald, right? Look up Leon Trotsky. That's him. Uh, thank you to MMO for gifting us up. We have a couple of new people. Three new people to welcome now. Oh, yeah. Hey, a leopard. Hey, Zomasi. And hey, a lurker with coffee. Perziga. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Biggest of sub bombs. Yeah, we had a hundred, a hundred person sub bomb. Just like, yeah, here's some, here's just some random people. Five nineteen in progress. 
Uh, for the past half hour, Miss, Mrs. Stixon has been hearing the sound of heavy blows through the window of her neighbor's house. She feels, oh, now I know this is a false alarm because the neighbor is has got a new punching bag. We have done this. Fuck. Uh, new, another new sub. Oh yeah, hail Swalker Gaming, Berserker. What's up, Swalker? And known ASZ with five months. Welcome back. Mr. Nash went well. I'm glad my colleague had a decent funeral. Okay. Now, oh, here's the point where we where we find out if a false alarm one day, if I don't send anybody, will it become an actual uh, an actual like crime? Because that was a guy getting a new punching bag last time. So we'll see. Five fifty-seven in progress. Okay. Uh, is is this the day where you skip the tactical mission? Oh, it was too. Yeah, there's probably a tactical mission that I can do now. Oh, that's nice. That'll be nice. Hopefully. Um, a grandfather is shouting for people to stay away from him, yelling if they approach him closer than 20 yards. Yes, I'm gonna explode. Not one of you scumbags come one step closer. 2,800 for this guy, okay. Well, there's 16 of it. <laughs> nope, that's not gonna be enough. Yikes. Hmm. Okay. Fuck. Tivios gifted to these people. All right, these are the Tivios gift subs. Uh, Fiac, Fiaconi 1985 with, with a clue, Larch, Amenth, Commander Roo, Botic, Kanji name, uh, Agash, Sledge Wolf, and Mo Moobot. I guess Moobot hangs out. All right, here's the noise complaint. We'll see if it was a false alarm. If it stays a false alarm. Yep. It does. It stays a false alarm. That's cool. Okay. Bomb threat. That was a false alarm, too. The grandfather dropped his wallet somewhere near the bus stop. Struggling to find it was deliberately, deliberately keeping it back so they wouldn't interfere with his search. The only thing exploding was the man's patience. Well, fuck. Ah, uh, here we go. There are two prisoners in the yard. One of them is holding a revolver, and he's ready to spin the drum. Behind him, a drunk guard with a rifle is directing action. Come on, Greg, spin the drum. Oh, they're gonna do this, okay. So we ordered him to throw down the revolver. Pretty sure we did. We ordered him to throw down the revolver. I mean, we can take him out with a sniper. Well, I think we ordered him to throw them over, and then something else happened. Yeah. Then we can take out the guard with the sniper. Yep, fuck off, I'm here for life. This is my only chance to get out. Yep, eat a normal burger, have sex, yep. And then we had Marshall run for the prisoner, I think. I'm not sure if that did anything though. Uh, the cop managed to, to 
Yep, grab the revolver. The drunken guard readies his rifle. He's angry that the police interrupted his game. There it is. And then we shot the guard. Oh, we should have brought a stun grenade. That's that's how we, that's the, the best win condition is the stun grenade. And there's Dr. Akek giving out a sub to new warriors there. Oh my God, the horn is gonna, the horn is gonna keep going. Thank you, Dr. Akek giving out five new subs. Oh yeah, to new subs, hail single-handed genius. That gay Goran, Virgo Praz, Glowing Eddie, and Ir Iridin Berserker. Thank you, Akek, and thank you, all you guys, for being here and watching. Oh, and one more from MMO. Hail, Tech. Tech? That's your... Just T-E-C-H. That's great. Berserker. You must have been a f one of the first people on Justin TV if you got Tech. All right, uh, shoot the guard. So, yeah, we had you shoot the guard. And that was a win condition. Five, yeah. Five, five, complete. Killed the offender, returned to their cells. We got a, we got a level up. Got some tobacco and some whiskey. Oh, we didn't get a level up. We didn't? Hold on a sec, I thought for sure yeah, you went over 650. He was at 640 and went to 650. Why didn't he get a level up? Oh, I know why. I know why. Because the last mission he was on, he failed it. He was at 650, failed it, went down to 640, and then went back up again. So you don't get it. You can't game the system like that. That's smart. Smart. All right. Oh, this is the, uh, that's right. I got to send in a cop with a, a stun grenade, but I sold them all, I think. Yeah, I don't think I have a stun grenade. I bought one and put it in storage, but it didn't count. Yeah, I don't have a stun grenade. And I remember I sent some guy out there and it, it totally fucking embarrassed him. I, I didn't mean to replay this part, Dark Fury. I didn't mean to. But when I shut the game off, I was not past a checkpoint. So it went back to the previous day. There's no checkpoints in throughout the day, which is, which is weird. You got to play all the way through. Oh, that's another thing I think I saw in the comments for the, like, the negative reviews is that the checkpoints are far apart. Like they're, they're like a whole day of work apart. All right, municipal cemetery. Widow in hysterics report there's a woman in a red cloak at the cemetery who is somehow making the crows cry and hungrily attack the grievers. I don't remember that. She's making the crows hungrily attack grievers? I don't remember that being a thing. Wait, Atkins? Yeah, we'll get you out there and get you that last level maybe. Anybody close? Jacob, you're close to a level. There you go. Can't wait for the next Court of Swords stream. Me neither, Twister. Me neither. I'm excited. It, it probably is a false alarm, but... It sounds so wacky that it might not be. 558 in progress. Zara Avramov claims that upon her second floor, something powerful exploded, sending glass everywhere. Oh, that's, um... Th this is a false alarm. I can't remember what it is, but I, I remember it was a false alarm. Yeah, dude, I don't have... Yeah, 
I don't have anything to do with that. Five eleven in progress. Okay. Uh, the woman heard a car roaring, then a loud blow. A couple of seconds later, someone shouted, "Oh, this is this is the the backfire of the car. The car backfiring." Maybe that one wasn't a false alarm. Do you guys remember what this one was? Because the other one was a car backfiring and a guy like screaming with joy that his car was alive or something. But I think both of them are false. I just can't remember what it was. 518 in progress. Okay, there's the there's the the tactical mission that I skipped last time because I didn't know I wanted to see if it would stick around for the whole day. So we get another chance to do a tactical mission, which I'm excited about. Okay, Mr. Roger, a homeless woman trying to keep warm, climbing a truck. Oh, set the set the truck on fire. Douse the seats and set them on fire. Okay. So let's get uh Who do we want to get out there? Let's check out. Let's get you out there. Rockman. Could use you guys get some levels there. Radian. That's oh JP. No, nah, JP, you're gonna stay, you're gonna stay here. We'll get Horse Moon out there instead. Oh man, I'm five points away. Come on. Come on. Mm. Send my snitch out there. Or we could wait and see if Freddy comes back. No, he's, there's no way he's coming back in time. No, Augie, Augie got shot on a mission. He just needs some time in the hospital. All right, there you go. They'll be back before the end of the day, right? No, hold on. I'm going to need you and go ahead. There you go. Okay. God damn it. Mr. Nash, my medium warned me. Oh, that's right. Horseman won't go out at night. Because the medium. Right. Oh, maybe you'll go. Yeah. Well, I'm not taking you on a mission, so... There we go. Get Trotsky out there. Oh, there's the attempted murder. Yep. Uh, Crows was circling a fresh, badly buried grave. Nobody except the elderly widow uh, saw a woman in red cloak. Okay, yep, that was a false alarm. And then woman's neighbor, yep, the exhaust pipe fell off his car. Cry of, oh, cry of despair. That's what it was. That's what it was. Okay, that was the false alarm. And then this one was also a false alarm. A lot of fucking false alarms today. Uh, no explosion. It was just a window slamming and breaking because of the draft. There, there it is. Okay. So. A homeless woman carrying a gasoline can is walking is walking quickly down the road. Behind, there's a truck on fire. Pull in front of the woman, run her down, or turn on the siren. Oh, that's right. I think this is it. I think we just turn on the siren because that's what we did last time. Five, and that's it. That's all it was. She just surrenders. That was, like, super easy. <laughs> Got some diesel fuel. All right. God damn it. Are you guys going to be back in time? You are, right? 519 in progress. There we go. Okay. I knew it was going to be close. All right. We'll get pots. Adkins. Who else can go out on this? Nobody that's disloyal. Oh yeah, JP. Where's Stabby? Oh, Stabby's taking the day off. Do we get we had another Stabby? Oh, that's right. Goathorn. Goathorn was a stabber. Uh, what is your favorite? That's actually a good question. What is your favorite cop or police movie? It's a good question.
Yeah, he's a stabber. Look at his face. Look at his look at his uncaring eyes. Him and the stash man. We got two stabbers on our squad. Super Troopers, Bad Boys, Naked Gun, Police Academy, Lethal Weapon, Dragnet, Die Hard. Hmm. McGuire looks too old for this shit. Indeed he does. Oh yeah, we should send Al out there. You know, Potts is useful, but I might need her for that last mission. Oh, and she's tired too, so let's let's not send her. We'll we'll let Weird Al go out there. Okay. He has three stealth. Yeah, he has he can get another action. He'll be tired, but he'll he'll be okay. All right, send those guys. All right. Some teenagers have gathered in the park and are aggressively yelling at each other. Oh, they're having a rap battle. That's right, I forgot this is the rap battle. Um. Chapman? And there you go. Okay, we need someone on this. Oh shit, did I leave anybody with intelligence? Fuck! Oh fucking hell. God damn it. I got a bunch of goddamn morons. On the case. Oh shit. All right. Fuck. Is. It? All right, Ferretti. Go ahead. Go ahead, new guy. See what you got. <laughs> the riddle of the rusty nail. Okay. This is. Okay, that's right. Okay, so we got this before. Close chicken coop. Climbs over the fence. Near the chicken coop. He unlatches the thing. Grabs the black chicken by the legs. Hunting gun takes aim. Takes fire at him. And there you go. He was envious of Bill Buckler's black, uh, rare black chicken so much so he couldn't stand it anymore and decided to steal it for himself. Yep. I'm going to press charges on him. And then... Ooh, we're not done yet. Okay. Weird Al found some new frames. The teetotaler. Smashing the bottles on the shelves. Okay, so. There's that. Piles through the front window. Then. Exits the uh, vehicle. Beats him with a baseball bat. Beats him up. And pours a liquor on him, or is it the other way around? Okay. The clerk, let's see. Oh, immediately fell to the floor, so he didn't get beat with that. Okay, there we go. There we go. And there it is. All right. Member of the Spinach Berserks gang. She wrecked the liquor store under orders from the gang. Okay. Press charges there. 
All right, new gift sub from MMO to Captain Elsewhere. Now you have two months, Captain Elsewhere. Welcome back. All right, so we should be good now. Now we're just heading off to the call. The cops have arrived at the crime scene. All right, tactical mission time. Are you ready? Isabel Nicodemo, Tony's girlfriend. I know where Tony hid something valuable. My Tony is a daring guy. Oh, Tony, you never call Tony. Oh, Tony, why don't you ever call? Um. <laughs> all right, now everything from here on out is new. This is all new stuff. Uh, he is so mad about the whole old-fashioned custom, uh, burying the head of the family like he's some kind of pharaoh. The whole family chips in and casts a huge bar of gold that supposedly can prop open the door to paradise. Something starts closing the corpse's face. My Tony always laughed how silly it was. When uh, Giannis died, he was going to steal the offering so we could have a life together. He was going to sneak it. the ingot from the coffin so nobody noticed. And with the money we could uh, get for it, we could leave short forever. But something went wrong. Tony said that if he hadn't called me an hour before the funeral started, I should get out of town for a few days. He didn't call and I, s and I snorted all the stuff we had just to keep my head clear. But it wasn't enough. If you can give me a little cocaine for the road... I'll tell you where Tony hid the ingot. Oh, so coke for gold. This is pre-recorded. Who's who's asking if this is pre-recorded? Who asked me that? It's not a rerun. God damn it. This is yeah, this is now recorded. We'll take a chance. Sure, why not? Tony was planning on stealing the gold bar from the coffin and carrying it straight out, but it uh, wouldn't be my Tony if he didn't think of the options. It's dangerous to come back. I'm sure the ingot is at Kenny's, but he's a real coward, so if the cops turn it into a gunfight, he'll throw that ingot out in the snow, and nobody will find it until spring. Right there. Oh, no alarms and no surprises. And I'll get the gold bar. So if I go through this, and oh, that's the clue. As long, if I don't raise any alarms, I'll get a gold ingot somewhere, hopefully. Uh, Citro with a gift sub. Also, we have a couple new subs. Hail, not, not, to tum, not to tum. An Ubisoft Brazier. Hell yeah. Is that, how is it, how is that capitalized? Oh, not to, I'm not, I'm not sure. What am I, what am I fucking up? Oh, I got it? Okay, cool. All right, Caleb Venus Gravedigger, grave digger. I was going into the funeral uh, home for my, home for my pay. Oh, going to the funeral home for my pay when I ran into a guy with a gun. Oh, I got him. Some, he needs some diapers. All right. I have a sort of gentleman's agreement with the owner of the place. He gives me money, and I always put the deceased at the right depth so no wild beasts take them out. So he's happy, and all the customers are happy, and everything's good, and I'm happy to. Got a new son born recently, so the extra money helps out. But there's some things you can't buy with money. A uh, little piss and shit doesn't bother me too much, but when the wife wrapped the kid in rags, could get in fucking diapers around here. She's mad how bad it stinks. The whole thing drives you crazy, too. There's been going on for months. Okay. You want some diapers? I got. I'll get you some diapers, bud. I'll get you some diapers. Uh, and Zector Man, thank you very much for 21 months in a row. Welcome back, Zector Man. The owner of the funeral home owed me money for two jobs I did last week. The owner said he'd bring the money along with another undergrounder. That's what he calls the corpses. Anyway, I got tired of waiting and said to visit myself. I was about to go in through the front door, as always, when I saw the, through the glass of some gloomy guy carrying a gun. Well, I knew it was better to leave these guys, these kind of guys alone, and let them do their thing. Their type of... Their type had come by a few times before, so I went to the garden where I could wait until they're finished. I walked around the building, almost the back door, when I came across the guy with a gun. He, maybe he was patrolling. Anyway, he told me to get lost. I went back through the garden, and along the way, I saw a couple other guys with guns. Who were they burying that they needed that kind of protection? The Pope? Oh. Patrollers? Okay, so we know where the patrols are. Death through the front door. So he just told us where all the patrols were. All right, Maria Gossens, or Goosens. I 
I was just filling out some. Okay. When I'm retiring, I got laundry soap. Is that when I'm when am I retiring? Is everything? Yes. I still work every day. People die on weekends. It's rare. Sure, when only one person dies. So there's plenty of work to do. And people never stop dropping dead. But the owner is a tight fist as they come. Wouldn't even hire a cleaning lady. And you won't believe the mud the folks drag in. But enough about the cleaning. There's nothing. Uh, we don't even have soap in the toilet. Can you believe it? So if you bring me a few packs of soap, I'll tell you all about those thugs. Okay. These thugs are from some great Greek criminal family named the Kokinos. I don't know how they ended up in our town. All I know is that they left their homeland entering either fleeing from the law or from some rival family. Anyway, the head of the family died and there was some kind of fuss at the wake. It seems like they're like someone stole something right out of the coffin. Crazy things people do, right? They're obviously not from around here though. Nothing is sacred with those people. And in the end, instead of remembering the deceased, they run through the office, looking inside every box, search for something one of them stole, but they didn't find anything. Now they're wandering around the office like they're lost. I don't even know what they think they're still doing. Six to seven guys in here. Okay. I like that, like, the, just the scrawled notes, like, two people? Two guys, maybe? Azik confirmed attending the Burning Man. Yes, I am, Danny Trill. I will be at Burning Man. I have my tickets and everything. All right, so no alarms, no surprises. Guys going around the tree. All right, let's see what's up. Ninja perk, as always. Sight. Hmm. Push pin. And what's another good perk for him to give? The burglar, probably. I want this mission to go off without being noticed at all, so. We'll do that. Ninja. Sight. Athlete, you get to move one extra or extra squares. Yep. Do that to you. All right. Those are all the, these are like the best passives. Extra action, extra squares to move, and you see further. So you don't like accidentally run into a guy. And then for silent missions, the, the ability to open a door quietly is super important. I do believe there was a Kobo versus Zeke fight promised at Burning Man a while back. Are you both going? Search Channing Thunderdome. No, Adam's not going. He said if he did, he would do it. But there is somebody on my Twitter that challenged me to Thunderdome. Zeke will confirm to a sand angel on the ground. This will be my third year going, Danny. But yes, at the gates, if they ask me, I will, I will do another sand angel. In fact, I think I did it last year or la last time I went. So I think it's a, uh, it's a tradition by this time. Karate Potter Town? Say it louder. Karate Potter Town. Master Blaster. Adam isn't going? No, he's not going. Uh, I got 83 of the 100 names, I think. Want them or nah? Yeah, send them to me. Uh, send them to me uh, in a personal message in Discord. Discord them over to me. If you got a... Uh... You got a document or are you just gonna, just gonna flood my, my chat with it? 
Well, let's see. Yeah, I mean, I hate to do the same ones, but they're just they're just too good to pass up. All right, you don't have a lot of stuff, so we want you to Oh, Goathorn's my that's right. Goathorn's my stabber. That's right. Um Give him that and Sure. In case you need No! No, no, no! God damn it. No. I can just restart the mission. Okay. God damn it, that sucks. I didn't, there, there's two people I didn't assign, um, I didn't assign skills to. We're fine. Nothing is fucked. Everything is fine. There we go. All right. Now. Damn, dude. Okay. Now everybody has skills. Okay. Everybody be cool. You be cool. And we're all going to be little Fonzies here, right, guys? We're going to be little Fonzies. And what's Fonzie like? Yolanda. On me. What's Fonzie like? He's, he's cool. That's right. We're all going to be little Fonzies. Okay. Let's see what the map says. Two guys in here, no alarms. No stairs there. So, oh wait, what is our, our mission is? Just neutralize all suspects, okay. So all the suspects, there's a guy that walks in and out of here. So there's like nine, 10, 11, 12. There's between 11 and 12 suspects. And we, if we go through here, we can clean them out systematically, maybe. Okay, so we'll go this way to start with. I can't believe that tree doesn't give me cover. That, that bothers me a little bit. All right, go get him. We have a visual. There's one. All right. Okay. Upsie daisies. Wait, you first. You first, you're in front. Okay.
I mean, JP loves to bip. And he's got, oh shit. Everybody got a bipper? Everybody got a bip. Oh god damn it, Jacob doesn't have anything. God damn you, Jacob. You ain't got shit. You got a gun and that's it. Fuck, I forgot. You were at a funeral. Shit. All right, JP's gonna bip. JP's gonna bip those guys. Gonna bip them with the boop. Oh, fuck. Can I make it to that cover? I don't know if I can. I'm just gonna play it safe over here. Just gonna play it safe. Oh, I could have. Damn it. All right, whatever. Yep. All right. And she's, is she, is she tired? Or does she just have no speed? Because I've complained about Jacob's movement before. And I don't know why she can't move very fast. Or very far. Okay. At least we get behind the car there. That's good. All right, now you. Oh, stabby. Oh, goat horn the stabby. Do you have a push pin? You don't. Hold on, do you? Fraser, did I give you a push pin? I think I did, right? I did. All right, let's check it out. Let's see where everybody's at. I should have done that to start with. That should have been my first action. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 guys. Oh, this is gonna be a long one. 13 guys I gotta fucking neutralize and not raise any alarms. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's right. And Weird Al only gets two action because he's not a ninja. That's. Oh, and Stabby doesn't either. Yeah, Stabby doesn't get any. Goathorn the Stabber doesn't get any extra actions either. So Weird Al and Stabby do not have three actions because they don't have ninjas. Someone is gonna die. Oh yeah. Probably one, probably one or more of the suspects because I'm a good cop. I'm a good goddamn cop. I do good police work. Oh, oh, we're gonna get a bip. All right. What are you doing, Jacob? There you go. Yeah, head on up there and check out, check it out. We have a visual. Okay, there's that guy. Okay, you got nothing you can do there. You're a loose cannon. <laughs> I'm a loose cannon, but I get results, Captain. I'm a cop. You're not out there every day. I am. Yeah, but he can move up there. Probably won't get noticed. Give him a bit bit. Probably, I, I say probably won't get noticed. <laughs> yep, all right, so we get up there silently. Sir, stop resisting, sir. <laughs> just the fucking meaty thud. I just love it.
I bet you'll be okay. Yeah, go ahead. Been thinking about cop film question. Uh, do you class Dread as a cop film? Oh yeah, he's a he's a cop. He's the jury judge and ex executioner, right? Judge, jury, executioner. He, but he's a cop mostly. Dread, I would uh, Dread counts as a cop movie for sure. Um. Only have access to the Switch with the original This Is Police. Aces full of Kush. I beat you, dude. Look at my hand. I got aces full of Kush. <laughs> Where did you... How do they deal Kush into the fucking deck? Um, but this is... The, the original This Is Police is a great game. I, 30 hours of time well spent for me. It doesn't have these missions, though. This is a new uh, addition to the, to, the, to the sequel. But it has all, like, the story elements which are really good the voice acting which is really good it also has like it has the overview with you know, assign cops and stuff but it doesn't have the these ex-cop missions Hmm. You know, I bet we're okay. Yeah, we'll just move you over there. Move you over there. And then, too old for this shit. He's too old for this shit. Uh, so what do you feel about Discord game store supporting indie dev games? I, I don't know what you're talking about, Silver uh, Silver Server T. Give me, give me some more info. Whoa, Johnny Scar blew me up. Whoa, look at all those gift subs just Johnny Scar gifting it out. All right, I'm, I'm gonna read these super fast, you ready? Oh, okay, we're gonna have to pause the alerts here. Or not pause the alerts, but mute the alerts. We're muting the horn. All right, <laughs> all, all right, that's right, Master Blaster. I was doing a yeah, Master Blaster, there we go. All right, real quick. I'm gonna hail you all at once. Hail. Beef Supreme 01, Zar 100, Cows Go What, Shinji X Ty or Tig 6534, Shanty, Coster, Benner the Best, Stranger Paws, Robo Ranger, Some Dude 3332, Lunatic on Trip, uh, uh, Win Windex, oh, Windex, I like that name, like Scotty Win, Windex, the last name, uh, 88 Red, Zellers is Dead, Youth, Paladin Flynn, uh, Stwan first, Dude Almighty, and Bros Fisting Bros, Berserkers. Um, the name is spelled N G U Y E N D E X, but the name is, as far as I know, the name is pronounced Win. So Windex is the name. Um, and I learned that from watching poker because Scotty Win is the the prince of poker and men the master win is his men the master like that's how i knew how to pronounce it some pronounce it new yen i'm just i'm just saying what i've heard it how i've heard it pronounced all right Oh, you're standing right next to me. You can do it, fucking idiot. Yeah, that'll be, that'll be fine. Now, are you stabbing without me? Don't you be stabbing without me now. Wait, I gotta get up there. 
I got my stabbing knife ready. <laughs> Weird Al's daring to be stupid back here. I hope you get a. I hope I get to sit at a poker table with you someday, Zeke. I assume you play some one, two, or one, three at the local casino. Uh, two six is usually like it's two five, two six here in here in Billings. Um, you can find you can find no limit. You can find one one ten no limit. You can find um, two six structured or non structured. There's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of different games you can find. You can find some Omaha from time to time. Like there's places that do like Omaha on Tuesdays. All right, D hail D H Rocket Man Berserker. Cause he's a rocket man, rocket man, burning at his fuse up there alone. Okay. Oh shit, Weird Al's got another move. Shit, I didn't know that. All right, Al, get up there. Get up there, Al. Cause he's a rock it man. Rock it man. Okie dokie. Well, JP's got a collar. Get him, JP. Get on the ground. Get on the ground now. Fortunately, that is still, uh, I'm still stealth though, which is nice. <laughs> I've been with Zeke while he gambled. Let me tell you, it's fucking scary. I go all, I have, I have a problem. That's why I try not to do it that much because boy, boy, do I, I go all in for it. All in, literally all in. Okay. Let's see what we can see, huh? Though that's another oh, you could probably break in through that grate, I'm guessing, and get in through there. Hmm. Yeah, let's take a look-see. Let's take a look-see, huh? Oh, there's a, a box! Box of stuff. What can you do to him? You can shoot him! Or... Nope. Okay. So... Adkins can do the bip. Yep. Get up there and bip it, Madkins. Yep. <laughs> sir! Sir, stop resisting, sir! I'll, I'll join you in Texas holding my TwitchCon. The bison buying our shoes. <laughs> I'm never going to live that down, am I? Uh, sorry if this repeat, but did you did Zeke enjoy Monster Hunter? I you know what I shit on it a lot. I talked a lot of shit about it, but it's a great game. It's a great game. Could I see myself getting into it? Fuck yes, I could. If I wasn't already just stupidly addicted to Warframe, like that game got me hard. It didn't. It didn't get me hard. What I meant to say was. <laughs> Let me strike that. <laughs> it got me good. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, you got you got door opening, right? You do, okay. Roger. Okay. We have 
so anymore. hard. So hard. Visual from where? How do... Oh, that's an open doorway. Or no, it's not. Hold on a second. Is there a fucking window? Oh, there's something right here. Oh, I can't, I can't even see it on the on the actual. Whoops, 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 whoops. Okay, there is a window right there. Okay. I thought we were gonna duo and you were gonna carry me and we would have a blast in Monster Hunter World. Maybe it'll get me. Maybe I'll go back to it. I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm not against the idea. Oh, fuck, that's right. She doesn't have a bipper. So. She's kind of screwed on that front. She can't go in and beat ass. I got, I, I hope I don't forget that. Hmm. What can you do though? Do you have any skills? Nope. No skills. Uh, news, new viewer here. Is Zeke ever not hard? Oh, I'm hard. I'm hardcore. All right. I'm sorry to do this to you, baby, but you're gonna go get that box. Unfortunately. All right, and JP, what are you gonna do, JP? Oh, are you gonna go bip this guy? Yeah, I think JP is gonna head over and bip that guy. We have visual. All right, now you. God damn it. He's so upset he, he doesn't he hasn't got to stab anybody. <laughs> oh, but he can carry stuff. Okay, let, let's let him carry the uh the package. He can go over there and get that package. Can you bip through a window? No, you can't. You can't. Bip through a window and you can't arrest through a window. I, I learned that the other the last tactical mission Like I there was a guy like standing there like mm, dozed or dazed in front of the window and I couldn't I couldn't get in there to arrest him And I couldn't arrest him through the window. So he was blocking the window So don't stun anybody in front of windows because there's nothing you can do except execute them Like you can't arrest them through a window So you have to like shoot them in order to get them out of your way Oh, Weird Al's up. What do you got, Weird Al? We already used your push pin. Oh, you got a silent. Okay. That's not good, good, good. Good, good, good. Okay. And. Hmm. Hmm. Wonder if we'll be seen right there. I hope not. Perfect. Excellent. All right, Atkins. Get him. Oh, On the ground. ground. On the ground now. Everybody get butt naked. Hmm, that'll be right in the way. I 
That's okay. We got lots of time. We got lots of time. Lots of time. I'm role playing a strip search, yeah. How much of this game is in this mode? In Zeke mode? Not sure what you're saying, Hundu Islam. Is Hundu Islam? Islam? <laughs> I can never say your name. Been here for three months and I can't say your name. Or at least three months. You can open that, right? What? Oh, I can't take the grate off. I can't. That grate doesn't come off. Great! That's just great. And I can't go through there either, or else it would have like a option. So, well, fuck. Oh, well. That sucks ass. These one of the few streamers got my name right in the first try. Oh, cause you take forever in games, a 10 hour game is like a 30 hour game. How long is this? Oh. I see what you're saying. In Zeke hours. It's a long time. All right, come on back. This is our ingress right here. Yep, see that? I should, I should have, I could have paid attention to that. <coughs> Pardon me. All right. All right, this is where we'll take our first break. All right, we're going to take our first break of the day, y'alls. Oh, it's at the end of the song. I was like, why is it quiet? It's at the very end of the song. Okay. Uh, Fusion Titan, welcome back. 20 months in a row. Appreciate it. Okay. Um, take our first break. Three minute break. Stick around. We're not done. We got a full day of copping ahead of us. So don't go away. Also, this is the new Popsky album. Popsky has been a friend of mine uh, via Twitch for... A few years now, he's got a new album out called Re uh, Retro Retropolitan. So it's not Metropolitan, it's Retropolitan. I like it. It's a little play on words. Anyway, I'll be right back. Stick around. <laughs> 